Hi, this is Bob Perkins with AAISP's Insight Sales Studio. We're coming to you actually live from the Leadership Summit here in Chicago. It's been a great event so far. But uh, Jake Rennie and I had a discussion a few minutes ago, and I wanted to bring him on the studio here to talk to you about a pretty important topic. But before he does that, uh, Jake, uh, I know you moved to uh, DemoChip as Senior Director of Enterprise Sales, and, yep. and DemoChip now has a new name, right? Consensus. Can you talk Consensus. to us about that a little uh, bit? Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. Um, so recently, we, we I came over, and right after that, we decided to, to go forward with our rebranding. Um, the main reason for that is that we had our customers come into us after the last two years of helping them solve problems at the top of the funnel with marketing and demo automation, mm -hmm. and we realized that we they needed help with solving bigger problems. They needed help with using our technology to actually identify the different decision makers in this buying process and how to get information and personalized data over to them in a way that they could make informed decisions faster. And as we started working with them to help drive buyer consensus and identify the decision makers within the organizations that they were selling to, um, we found a really interesting niche of what we can do to help really up their business. And the idea of consensus was born. Good name. You know, it's a consensus building is a good thing. In fact, we're going to talk a little bit about what you just mentioned around finding the different buyers and decision makers. And as we spoke earlier, you, you were talking about account-based selling and yeah. what it means. Can you talk to the viewers about some of your tips? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, it's it's no mystery anymore that we know that there are 5.4 decision makers. Mm -hmm. I mean, even today, that data comes from 2013. Now, arguably, people are saying even seven, if not more decision makers in the enterprise buying process. Mm -hmm. And so we need to be able to identify who's each one of these decision makers are, um, get the information that they're, you know, they care about, help mobilize that so that we can help our sellers, right, um, avoid group buying dysfunction, which occurs mm -hmm. because once you get to that point of five decision makers, that purchasing decision, the likelihood of that drops 50%. Mm -hmm. And it's not because they're going with a competitor or because they're, they're, um, they don't have the budget, it's because they're not making a decision at all. And that's where group buying dysfunction happens. So analysis paralysis, or exactly. too much group think that right. it never really kind of moves and does, it, does, it, does it dwindle sometimes, yeah. just kind of peter out? So the idea here is that, one, early on, we need to be able to work with our SDRs, BDR teams to identify who these actual decision makers are before we even deliver that lead to an account executive to spend time working, right? Instead of, the idea here is instead of working one individual with an account, delivering a full buying panel hmm. to your sales rep so that they can start creating consensus from day one. So especially with mid to larger size accounts, you're saying the days of, oh, I got a demo appointment with Joe Schmo, that's, those days are coming to an end. You need to go beyond that. What good is that doing, right? You know, it's, we, we can do that, we can have that conversation, and then that conversation learn, turns into a really, um, a, 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 not even a good buying experience for the buyer because that seller gets on the call and just bombards them with discovery questions. <laughs> and it may or may not even be an appropriate person. For right, questions. right. So it's a waste of time for the buyer, it's a waste of time for the seller. But if we can identify each one of these buyers in the process, bring them together and then bring that buying committee to the account executive with context behind that conversation, then that account executive can get on a call and actually start building consensus around the needs, the pains, the goals, and, and drive a, a value line to goals, not just discovery. Well, I, you know, one of the things we've heard through our research is sales reps, meaning reps that are responsible to close down a quota, they want higher quality leads. What I'm hearing you say, much more thorough uh, investigation uh, better understanding of the account, better understanding of the influencers, decision makers. And I think that's going to equal a higher quality engagement. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it will shorten the sales cycle and it will increase the close rates and it will increase the deal size. Yeah, that's great. Great, uh, great tips, uh, great thoughts around account based selling and how to really execute on it. So uh, we hope everybody has a great uh, sales week. We wish you were here with us uh, at Leadership Summit, but until next time we meet, good selling. This is Bob Perkins and Jake Rennie. Jake, thanks for coming yeah, on. Thanks, uh, we're signing off from the Inside Sales Studio. Bye-bye.